टुडे यूनिट टू एग्रोनॉमी क्लास वन क्रॉपिंग पैटर्न्स इन डिफरेंट एग्रो क्लाइमेटिक जोन्स ऑफ द कंट्री इंडिया इज बेस्टोड विद अ लॉट ऑफ नेचुरल रिसोर्सेस विच आर बीइंग यूज्ड फॉर वेरियस एक्टिविटीज इंक्लूडिंग एग्रीकल्चर इंडियन एग्रीकल्चर प्रोड्यूसर्स ए वेरी वाइड रेंज ऑफ क्रॉप्स वेजिटेबल्स एंड अदर प्रोड्यूसर्स Uh, several of the country's agriculture products are in global exports and get substantial benefits cropping pattern definition cropping pattern means the proportion of area under different crops at a point of time changes in this distribution over time and factors determining these changes the planning commission because of the midterm appraisal of the planning targets of the seventh plan Uh, has divided the country into 15 broad agroclimatic zones these zones are based on physiography soils geological formation climate cropping patterns and development of irrigation and mineral resources for broad agriculture planning and developing future strategies the major determinants of agroclimatic zones in india are a physiography or topography Physiography of an area is the outcome of structure, process, and the stage of development of a region. It depends on the rock types, landforms, relief, drainage, and other features. The North has a vast expanse of rugged topography consisting of a series of mountain ranges, elevated peaks, beautiful valleys, and deep gorges. The South consists of a stable plateaus and plains with highly dissected structures. denuded rocks and a series of scrubs in between these two major land masses we have the great indian gangetic plains next b climate agriculture crops require suitable climate to grow crop water needs high low sunshine sunny no clouds or cloudy no sun temperature hot cool humidity low dry high humid wind speed windy little wind the highest crop water needs are thus found in areas which are hot dry windy and sunny the lowest crop water needs are found when it is cool humid and cloudy with little or no wind next water resources the most well known source of water for plant growth is rain water if there is too much rain the soil will be with full of water and there will not be enough air excess water must be removed with drainage controls if there is too little rain water must be slipped from other sources like irrigation the main part of this water does not remain in the plant but escapes to the atmosphere as vapor through the plant leaves and stem next the soil resources soils are the product of weathering of the rocks they are outcome of climate and vegetation on the parent rocks they are conditioned by the topography over a period of time depending on the soil forming factors a variety of soils are formed and distributed this categorization is helpful in classifying the agroclimatic regions of india next length of growing periods lgp the length of growing period lp simply means the number of days available for crop or plant growth or the number of days during which time there was optimum range of temperature day length and moisture Ag- agroclimatic zones of india first western himalayan region this consists of three districts sub zones of jammu and kashmir himachal pradesh and uttar pradesh hills cropping pattern rice maize millets wheat and barley are the main crops the productivity level of all crops is lower than the all india average ginger saffron many temperate flowers and vegetables are grown in this region second eastern himalayan region sikkim and darjeeling hills arunachal pradesh meghalaya nagaland manipur tripura mizoram assam and jalpaiguri and kuch bihar districts of west bengal fall under this region having high rainfall and high forest cover cropping pattern shifting cultivation jhum uh, practiced in nearly 1/3 of cultivated area since this area has a high potential for agriculture including forestry and horticulture a complete package of supply of inputs quality seeds saplings fertilizers and pesticides 
coupled with marketing and processing has to be organized for each sub zone third lower gangetic plains the west bengal lower gangetic plains region consists of four sub regions cropping pattern this zone accounts for about 12% of country's rich production sesame jute mustard rabi maize and potato are emerging as new crops of this zone scope for forage production and livestock rearing in is highly very high middle gangetic plains this zone consists of 12 districts of eastern uttar pradesh and 21 districts of bihar plains cropping pattern rice is the principal crop by but its productivity is low it is suggested to put unculturable wasteland under silvi plaster and culturable land under agroforestry poultry dairying and inland riverine fishery also should receive priority priority upper gangetic plains this zone consists of 32 districts of uttar pradesh divided into three sub zones of central northwest and southwest up cropping pattern this zone has 144% cropping intensity irrigation is largely through canals and tube wells a good potential for exploitation of groundwater exists in all the dairy lands flood prone areas development of fruit trees is important uh, genetic improvement through cross breeding and increasing the area under fodder crops is important trans gangetic plains this zone consists of punjab and haryana delhi union territories of chandigarh and srinagar districts of rajasthan sri ganga nagar districts of rajasthan cropping pattern the major characteristics of the area are highest net zone area highest irrigated area least poverty level high cropping intensity 170% and high ground water utilization rice wheat system is prevalent farmers have started taking up cultivation of vegetables and fruit crops seven eastern plateau and hills the eastern plateau and hills region consists of the following sub regions of from madhya pradesh odisha west bengal etc cropping pattern in karif 82% of area is under rice most soils are acidic and in some areas application of the lime is necessary cultivation of crops like red crown groundnut and soybean is in uplands is to be encouraged mustard and vegetables are to be grown in irrigated areas 8 central plateau and hills this zone comprises of 40 districts of madhya pradesh uttar pradesh and rajasthan cropping pattern irrigation and intensity of cropping are low since 75% of area is rained a watershed management program is to be implemented food crop should be replaced by oil seeds 9 western plateau and hills this zone comprises of major parts of maharashtra parts of madhya pradesh and one district of rajasthan cropping pattern net zone area is 65% and only 12.4% area is irrigated sorghum and cotton are the major crops in nearly half of the cultivated area this zone is known for the best quality oranges grapes and bananas the area under fruit crop is about 1 lakh hectares farmers are adopting sprinklers and drip drip methods of irrigation particularly for fruit and vegetable crops 10 southern plateau and hills the zone comprises of andhra pradesh karnataka and tamil nadu which are typically semi arid regions cropping pattern rain fed farming is adopted in 85% of the area and cropping intensity is 111% low value cereals and minor millets predominate in the cropping systems east coast plains and hills 11 east coast plains and hills this zone consists of six sub zones orissa coastal north coastal andhra and ganjam south coastal andhra north coastal tamil nadu tanjavur and south central tamil nadu cropping pattern rice and groundnut are important crops bracket water fisheries and aquaculture hold great promise in this area roughly 40% of the marine potential is taken advantage of in andhra pradesh and 46% in the tamil nadu coast 11 12 west coast plains and ghats this zone runs along the west coast covering parts of tamil nadu kerala karnataka maharashtra and goa cropping patterns cropping intensity is 124% with a variety of crop patterns rainfall and soil types this is a important zone for plantation crops and species and fisheries productivity of rice and millets is low and there is need for diversification to horticulture crops such as mango banana and coconut 
fruit marketing and processing should be systemized by developing appropriate infrastructure. This zone is important for multi-story crop. 13. Gujarat Plains and Hills This zone consists of districts of Gujarat classified into 7 sub-zones. Cropping pattern Only 50% of the cultivated area is under food crops resulting in food deficit. However, it is an important oil seed zone. The cropping intensity is 114% and the nearly 60% of the zone is considered drought prone. The long coastline and the river delta should be used fully for developing marine fishing and brackish or backwater aquaculture. 14. Western Dry Region This region comprises districts of Rajasthan is characterized by hot sandy desert, erected rainfall, highway evaporation, no perennial rivers and scanty vegetable scanty vegetables. Cropping patterns cropping intensity is one not four percent, not five percent. Fairly millet, cluster bean, gaur, and moth are the lead crops in Karif and wheat and gram in Rabi, but the yield levels per hectare are low. Any change in the cropping pattern is not advocated because of the fodder value of the crops. The acute shortage of fuel, fodder, and forage warrant stringent efforts for the development of sylvip pastoral systems and energy plantation to meet the scarcity and to stabilize partially the sand dunes. 15. Islands region. This zone covers the island territories of Andaman and Nicobar and Lakshadweep, which are typically equatorial. Cropping pattern. Nearly half of the cropping cropped area is under coconut. Influence of climate on crops. Climate is the most important dominating factor influencing the suitability of a crop to a particular region. The yield potential of the crop mainly depends on climate. More than 50% of the variation of the crops is determined by climate. The most important climatic factor that influence growth, development and yield of the crops are solar radiation, temperature and rainfall. Effect of temperature on plant growth. Temperature and crop production. One important for growth and development. Optimum temperature required for maximum dry matter accumulation. High night temperature growth for shoot. Next first cardinal temperature all plants have maximum optimum and minimum temperature limits the limits are cardinal temperature points optimum temperature range is very important first low temperature low temperature affects several aspects of the crop growth via survival cell division photosynthesis water transport growth and finally yield chilling injury if a plant grow in hot temperatures are exposed to low temperature they will be killed or severely injured when the night temperature is below 15 degrees centigrade field crops may show yellowing symptoms example tropical animals freezing injury when the plants are exposed to ha- low temperature water freezes into ice crystals in the intercellular spaces example cell dehydration temperate crops potato tea suffocation formation of the thick cover of ice or snow on the soil surface presents the energy entry of oxygen and crop suffers this represents the respiration and leads to accumulation of harmful substance heaving lifting of the plants along with the soil from its actual position by ice crystals this is a mechanism lifting uh, frost damage low temperature near the canopy due to earth's re- radiation if the cell size is large the probability of frost damage is high plant management against frost damage frost free growing season adjusting the sowing time selection of the resistant varieties sprinkler irrigation second high temperature injuries high temperature adversely affects mineral nutrition shoot growth pollen development resulting in low load low yield the critical temperature above which plants get killed is called thermal death point the temperature above 50 degrees centigrade may kill many annual crops the limit varies with plants shade loving plants are killed at lower temperature mineral nutrition high temperature stress Causes reduction in absorption and subsequent assimilation of nutrients. Absorption of calcium is reduced at temperature of 28 degrees centigrade in maize. Nutrient uptake is affected by both soil and air temperature in rice.
nitrate reductase activity decreases under high temperature shoot growth high temperature even for short period affects crop growth especially in temperate crops like wheat higher temperature reduces the growth of shoot and in turn reduces root to growth high soil temperature is more crucial as damage to the roots is severe resulting in substantial reduction in shoot growth high temperature at 38 degrees centigrade in rice reduced plant growth plant height root elongation and sh- smaller roots pollen development high temperature during booting stage results in pollen abortion in weeds temperature higher than 27 degrees centigrade caused under development of anthers and loss of viability viability of pollen a temperature of 30 degrees centigrade for two days at reduction division stage decreased grain yield by drastic reduction in grain set scorching high temperature lead to dehydration and leaves are scorched physiological activities high temperature disturbs the photosynthesis and respiration injury due to scorching sun high temperature causes injury on the exposed area of the plant example bark it is known as sun scald burning off these symptoms are noticed on young seedlings due to high soil temperature the seedlings are killed stem griddle high soil temperature causes stem scorches at the ground level example cotton thank you